Hi, it's Jerome Clemens, and uh, this is a bike check of my race bike, my Canon Del Jekyll. I ride a medium frame, the carbon, carbon one, standard, stock from the same that you can buy. And uh, if I run a large, I cannot ride the, the drop or seat post, so this is perfect for me. So no angle set, uh, I run the pressure on the shock a little bit lower than uh, what they recommend for my weight, so a bit more sag to make it more gravity oriented. I use um, the rear bone wide open because I like it makes the bike more reactive and uh, I use 230 psi on the positive chamber and around 200 in the negative. So I fine tune depending on the, the stages but usually this is my, my normal set setup. I like when my bike reacts quick when I, there is like multiple bump and stuff so I ride always full open sometimes one click in but I like when it's really fast. Same for the front. I'm quite quick uh, for the rebound in the, in the front. We, we have a pull shock on the bike uh, that allows me to uh, have two settings, uh, one with 165 mm and one with uh, 90 mm. So I have a little twist on my underbar that I can turn in the stage, it's on the fly, and I can uh, go from a flow mode, 165, really, I mean, soft suspension, to something stiffer, and uh, that makes also the BB a bit higher and the, the head angle steeper. Uh, so that's, a, that's something I can do during the stage and, uh, and help me to go uh, to have the best bike if it's going up or going down. Uh, I'm a bit of a maniac of this, so I probably, uh, sometimes I use it 20, 20 times a stage. If it's the 10 meter sprint, I can just twist it. It doesn't take me much time to, to do it, so I use it as much as I can. I use a RockShox spike in the front, RCT3, uh, 160 millimeter. Uh, I think it's what fit the bike the best so far and uh, the angle is good with this. Uh, we have a special uh, setting for the, um, for the Cannondale bike with a 50 millimeter uh, offset that makes the geometry the same than with the lefty. Uh, so that's the, the geometry I like when I, when I developed the bike. I got two tokens. Uh, I changed sometimes two, sometimes one, but uh, here for here in Scotland I have two tokens and 65 PSI. The fork and the, the shocks are balanced. Mostly, uh, I like when the, the bike walk together, not too much different in the front and the rear. I have a 50 mil stem, so I mostly run the 50 and sometimes 40. If it's a bit less pedally or more aggressive, steeper, I, I may run sometimes 40 mm. So it is a 750 mm bar. I'm not really wide from my shoulder, so it's, it's, it's enough. And if you have to go in between trees, it's, uh, it's wide, wide enough by, by far. Maybe if you live in Arizona or I don't know, in the desert, you may wish a wider bar, but where I live and most of the race, it's in between trees, so 750 is the best. I have uh, the, the SRAM wheel, Rome 50, and uh, I know I use uh, the Michelin tire. Uh, I'm really happy with this. Uh, they did a good job uh, on the range. So for here, I have a Grip R in the front and the new uh, model in the rear that uh, we, we developed this year for the team. So it's fast rolling, but still good uh, knobs on the side to control in the braking and in the corner. And I think it's, it's going to work good. Uh, in the front, uh, it's written prototype because uh, the, the, the design of the tire is the same. We have a special compound. It's a little bit harder uh, to roll faster, but uh, otherwise it's, uh, the casing is the same than what you can buy. I run uh, 22 in the front PSI and 25 in the rear, so 1.5 and 1.7 in, in bar. Standard tubeless with uh, sealant in, in it and uh, the, the Rome 50 are UST compatible so it's easy to, to set and uh, it's no, no problem with that to put it on the wheel and ready to go. I have the X61 uh, group set, usually I ride 34 and for racing 36 and sometime in the Alps when we have a lift. I use 38 or for Mega Avalanche, this kind of thing. 170 crank, uh, once again, my short legs. And uh, now it's also to keep a bit of clearance with the ground. Uh, I like to pedal in the rocks when it's a little bit flatter. So it's helping you not to go over the bar too often. I have new prototype pedal. I don't know where they come from. At least I can say. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is really good and uh, we're still working on it. Uh, there is a set like this. Uh, trail oriented and uh, some cross country one too. Right now it's not on, but I'm going to have uh, my tube. Uh, spare tube in, in the frame too. I have a quick link. So this is some tips if you have a problem with your chain in the in the stage, you can just find it and put it on because it's hard to put it in your pocket as soon as you remove it, drop on the ground. So here 
it's on the bike and uh, you always have it on you. Uh, yeah, it's uh, little tips that make your life easier. I move a lot on my bike, so I try to have not too much weight on, on, on me. So like the tube, the chain link, I put it on the bike and, uh, and then I run uh, back protection with hydration system on me with some serial bar and uh, just a cable, a pump and a CO2. That's what I bring for, for racing. Right now, with like this, with the Garmin on, it's 13 kilo. I'm not a big uh, weight addict, uh, but I try not to have too, too much heavy gear. This is the new WTB SL8 Southern Carbon. It's so far, it's been really strong, so it don't matter to me to put some uh, light stuff, but for example, I'd rather ride the good wheel or good pedal with big casing on the tire and be safe than just save weight and don't finish the race. I got 125 millimeter uh, reverb. I try 100, but it's not enough. So this is what I, I like to run. I have the new Ultimate, the guide brake uh, with carbon lever and a new caliper. Uh, it works really good with 180 millimeter disc. That's what I use most of the time of the year. And I have on my uh, hub some uh, it's, uh, we build the, the wheel with uh, the SRAM guys. It's a SRAM uh, Rise hub uh, with the new uh, engagement system that I have uh, on, on my wheel so they, they roll a bit faster and uh, makes the day easier. <laughs>